All right, guys, so here we go with the GPS testing of the Tyro 119. We're going to go ahead and check out the GPS rescue feature first. So on the OSD here, on the top left corner, we got the mode, we got the RSSI, we got the throttle position, we got the VTX channel and the band, and the satellite count. We have 11, 12 satellites acquired so far. So we are good to go. All we need is six. And right below that, we got the distance away from home. And right below that, we got the altitude flicking at 4.8, 4.9, and 5. And right below it, we got 0K. That'll be the speed in kilometers per hour. And right on the bottom left, we got the longitude. And on the right bottom, we got the latitude. And in the middle, we have a dash. That would be a arrow. Uh, pointing to the direction of home. So let's go ahead and check it out here There you go everything is online, so let's go ahead and check it out Okay, let's make sure that the home direction arrow is correct and it is continuously pointing towards where it took off from Okay, it looks like the location is good. So let's go ahead and test it out. So we got 20 GPS satellites acquired, 120 meters away from home, and altitude is about 30 meters. Speed is at 60 kilometers per hour. All right, let's go ahead and flick that GPS rescue switch, auxiliary four, and there you go. So take a look at the RSSI low. Take take a look at the top left corner it says rescue. And at the moment I got my throttle set to zero and it is coming home by itself. It was kind of scary cuz it was going the wrong way for a minute there. So when you get close to home you want to flick it back because it will not land itself it will just hover right above you and with your throttle to zero it will probably just crash land i haven't tried it <laughs> but you want to flick it back and take control of the quadcopter once it gets near you so let's go ahead and check it out one more time with the gps rescue manual button gps rescue so going away from us, 200, 250, and 300 meters. And let me go ahead and flick that switch and put my throttle down all the way to zero. So as you can see, on the top left corner, we got rescue on the modes and the throttle value is zero and it is heading its way back. Okay, get ready with that auxiliary four toggle switch to take control back. There you go. Flick it back. It seemed as if it was just hovering right above where it took off before I flicked that switch back to regain control. So let me go ahead and test it out one more time. I'm gonna go away from myself at least a hundred meters. And then let's go ahead and flick that GPS rescue switch. Throttle all the way to zero. And let's see what it does once it hovers right above the takeoff spot. I'm kind of curious as to see what happens if it just falls to the ground or does it just hover there? Looks like it just hovers there. Turns around. And it starts to descend a little bit. So you want to go ahead and retake control. So it descends by itself. That is pretty cool. And hopefully it lands very softly <laughs> and not very abruptly. All right. So there you go, guys. The GPS rescue feature. And check it out. I got less than six satellites now. So it is telling me that GPS rescue is unavailable. And now I'm back up to 14, 13 GPS satellites. All right. Pretty nice feature to have. 
Next battery will check out the fail safe GPS rescue feature. So I'm not sure if it's going to flick into the GPS rescue mode and come back or does it just briefly come home until you regain connection because you do regain connection once you get lost when the receiver is lost and you get a fail safe situation and you gain it back you take control back right away so I'm thinking we'll probably get a very quick fail safe situation until your transmitter regains connection with the quadcopter all right so let's go ahead and bring it back home for a landing put another battery in and check out the fail safe feature there we go all right guys so here we go with the fail safe feature testing of the tyro 119 so what i want to do is on my transmitter the antenna is sticking straight up for all around reception what i'm going to do is point it straight so what i'm going to do is fly all the way straight away from myself and where the transmitter antenna has the null spot i'm going to go ahead and land beyond that little hill there so i won't have direct uh, visual line of sight with the clock copter in at which time it should go into the fail safe mode so let's go ahead and test it out arming it i got 18 satellites and we are off All right let me make sure the home direction arrow is correct once again There we go, it is correct. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out here. There's a little hump right here. Ooh, rescue non-available because I don't have enough GPS satellites acquired. So let's wait until we have at least six to perform this or otherwise I'm gonna go, have, go and retrieve the quadcopter manually. Man. At one time I had up to 20 GPS satellites. So it is telling you rescue is not available. And look at that, I got up to 20 one more time. Yeah, kind of iffy this field here with the GPS satellite uh, acquirement. All right, so I'm beyond 100 meters, looks like right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and land the quadcopter right here. So, I am sitting looking at this direction and my transmitter antenna is pointing straight towards me so I will lose connection as soon as I land right here RSSI so I landed and look at that I got my throttle to zero and it took off by itself and it said fail safe all right so that works fail safe GPS rescue works oh and I also got a rescue non-available once again. Yeah, kind of iffy situation here, testing out GPS features when I cannot acquire all of the necessary GPS needed for this testing. And all of a sudden I got 20 something GPS once again. So I'm sitting right there and my transmitter is pointed towards that direction with the antenna pointing directly at that pos position there. So that is the null spot. So if I go sideways, I'll have good connection. But if I go behind myself, I will also have that null spot because it's the other side of the antenna. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the other side of the antenna position because it seems like the other side, I'm always getting very little GPS. So let me go ahead and Go away from myself here, about 200 meters or so, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn RSSI around. RSSI low. Ooh, RSSI is low already. So let me go ahead and land it right here. RSSI 
RSSI critical. Okay, landed it and look at that. It took off automatically. And it said RX lost. I failed to look at what my mode display says. It probably says fail safe or return to home. So let me go ahead and do that one more time. And that's what I want to keep an eye on. I want to land softly at the same time. RSSI critical. Okay, are you going to take off? Yes, it says fail safe. FS. And it did that all by itself, guys. So the fail safe does work. So if you go away from yourself and continuously travel away from yourself and once your RX gets disconnected, fail safe situation kicks in and the quadcopter will perform a GPS rescue. That is if that's how you have it set up in beta flight fail safe tab which is really nice now that we have the fail safe tab and you can change parameters of your GPS features right in the fail safe tab so battery is getting really low I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in so there you go guys GPS fail safe feature testing on the Tyro 119 and it works awesome nice all right so here we go once again and this time what i want to test out is the fail safe uh feature but instead of landing i'm gonna just keep on flying all right, so let's go ahead and check it out. Hopefully, the satellite doesn't drop to below five. So let's go ahead and check it out. Actually, I'm not going to go this way because it seems like every time I go this way, I lose GPS satellite. So I'm going to head towards the opposite side. But first, let's see if the home direction arrow is correct. Yep, looks like the home direction arrow is correct. So I'm going to go behind me here and continuously travel until I get a fail safe. Oh yeah, critical. We like that. Okay. I don't want to hit any power lines here. Gee, we are 370 meters. And hopefully RSSI critical. okay fail safe rx lost for a brief moment and i've gained it back it goes back and forth rssi critical okay so where is home so easy to find out just hit that gps rescue switch and i'm headed back RSSI home critical. there i am there you go flicked it back and i have regained the control very very nice so even if you are just flying and you lose connection and you get a fail safe it will return to home or try to return to home and it will connect back with your transmitter right away that is just awesome guys so very very nice gps features on the Tyro 119 with a telemetry receiver and everything is just plug and play on this quadcopter so very easy to set everything up and now because you are able to change parameters of the GPS functions right inside of the fail safe tab it is even nicer all right, the battery is getting low, so let me go ahead and bring this baby in here. Must have been a very old battery that I got on this time. All right, there you go, guys. That'll conclude my GPS rescue feature and the fail-safe feature testing on the Tyro 119. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you again next time.